Robbie Weeds here, standing in front of a tilia, also called a linden. Here we have a bunch of uh, little aphids crawling around. Um, here is even more. Uh, one of the signs without looking on the underside of the leaf is you can tell the sooty mold. Uh, one of the signs of the honeydew um, caused by aphid frass, which is uh, their secretions. See uh, all the dark markings and stuff on the leaf over here. So there's a ton of aphids on this. Um, another part of a uh, pest of uh, Tilia is uh, Erophyllid mites. That's these growths that um, uh, Erophyllid gall mite is uh, some, sometimes called lemon mites or lemon gall mites. Um, but they the what they they bite the leaf and chew it and the allergic reaction of the leaf is to create these galls and that's what the mites use to reproduce and put their eggs inside of and grow sometimes these galls get uh, uh parasites that use the galls for their uh the insect's own uh, reproductive activity so a wasp might lay its own egg that will kill the the mite egg and then use the gall um as its own uh um, enclosure because uh, these erophyllid mics um, are the only ones that uh, have whatever poison or um, chemical in their spit or whatever secretion they use that will cause this reaction to create the gall and then of course um, lindens are very prone to getting skeletonized by uh, here we go skeletonized by Japanese beetle in the summer so those are three very common insect pests all well, uh, the beetles and uh, the aphids, um, you would really just use a contact insecticide spray with Talstar at the first sign of uh, um, symptoms of damage. And uh, you would um, use a systemic to treat the mites, either a miticide or a, a systemic that also would uh, kill mites. I'm thinking forbid uh, miticide. I forget the active ingredient, but that would probably be my choice first to kill these mites. Um, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but uh, that's probably where I go first. Or maybe even orthene would, um, orthene is great for a lot of leaf feeding insects. So um, that's one way to deal. Uh, Erophyllid mites, I've never seen cause um, hamper the health of the tree. It's just, I've seen every leaf on a linden tree covered in the galls and people complain about that and they think it looks ugly. So that's uh, how to deal with some some insect pests of linden trees. All right, Robbie weeds out.